All right, everybody, welcome to the Pace Comedy Showcase. You guys ready to get this show started? Yeah. Make some noise for your host and MC performs all over the country. Make it loud for Kevin O'Shea. Yeah. <laughs> Hey everybody, yeah that's you, thank you guys for coming out, yeah that's you, give it up for yourselves, come on, it's you, the best you you can be, uh, we've got a great show for you guys, keep it going for Pace Magazine for helping us put this all together, uh, we've got some great comics from you, uh, some of them from television, all beautiful humans just here to entertain you tonight. All right, you guys ready to get in? You guys ready to have some fucking fun? You've had beer? You've had pizza? You ready for comedy? Yeah! yeah. Uh, a little bit about me. Uh, my name's Kevin O'Shea, and on a scale of 1 to 10, I weigh 245 pounds. <laughs> Thank you. I obsess about weight. I, uh, I know I do. I ran into a friend of mine. I hadn't seen him in six months and he lost 75 pounds. It was a big deal. Like he used to look like, like just like a stoned fat hobbit. And now he just looks like this really athletic stoned hobbit. <laughs> and I was like, Sean, what happened? And he's like, oh, crazy story. You're never gonna believe it. Um, I needed to get dental surgery, but I didn't have any money. So I went to dental school and they did it for free but like it's a school, so the guy who didn't did it was not actually a dentist, and he forgot to give me antibiotics, and I went into a coma, and I lost 80 pounds. I was like, dude, whatever you're doing, it works, it's great. I was like writing down, like, don't take antibiotics. And it goes back to me, I think it goes back to high school. Uh, I was on the wrestling team in high school, I wrestled. And uh, they break everything down by weight and weight classes. And I was a uh, 215. And that was the last weight class before you go to heavyweights. Like it would be like 180, 190, 215, and heavyweight. And that went all the way to 275. And if you weigh 276 pounds, too bad. Fuck you, you're too fat to wrestle. <laughs> I weighed in one day. And I weighed in at 216 pounds. So my coach who's really upset, he's like, Kevin, you have to lose one pound. But then he stopped, an idea came across his head, and he's like, but we don't have any heavyweights, so how would you feel about gaining 59 pounds? <laughs> like, As a 15-year-old sophomore in high school, I think I'm against this gaining 59 pounds. He's like, no, do it for the team, do it for the team. And I didn't do it. And wrestling is a weird sport. You have to weigh in. Just adult men watch you as you're in your underwear and you weigh in before matches. And um, it was a true story. If you were ever too heavy, uh, what they do, they called it a hands up. They uh, would grab you by the butt and lift your butt up a little bit so that you'd, you'd weigh less on the scale. And they called it a, a hands up. And now, as an adult, I realized they could have grabbed you by anywhere, but they didn't. They chose the butt. That was their choice. Okay, this isn't a joke. I'm just coming through some past memories and working through some things with you guys. I don't know. I don't need to worry about my weight this much. Like, my body is like the ocean. Scientists agree that by 2030, we'll be no longer able to sustain life. <laughs> Taking great care of it. Like I went to Taco Bell, that's a great choice. I went to Taco Bell, you know why, it was late. I was watching TV, an ad for Taco Bell came on. I don't know if you've seen an ad for Taco Bell in the last 10 or 15 years, but they all basically go like this. Hey, are you fucked up? Okay, cool, come to Taco Bell. <laughs> I was watching, I was like, I am fucked up. I should probably go to Taco Bell. Come on, sit up, there's, there's tons of room. I don't bite, uh, I do tickle, it's much weirder. Uh, 
I went to Taco Bell, I uh, didn't tickle anybody. I went there, I'm placing my order, I got a burrito and two tacos, I paid for it. Waiting around, the guy came back and he was like, uh, sir, there's a problem with your order. I'm like, dude, you need to be more specific. There are a lot of problems with this order. <laughs> it's two in the morning and I just ordered 3,000 calories. Like, this is a problem. He's like, no. Well, the problem's with the deep fryer. Uh, it's broken, we have to fix it. It's gonna take 15 minutes for you to get your burrito and two tacos. And first I was upset about it. But then I thought about it and I realized it should take 15 minutes to make a burrito <laughs> and two tacos. <laughs> Like food should be assembled like with care and love by a person for you. And like, like effort should be put into it. It should take time. So it's like, all right, you know what? Instead of being upset, I have to mention I was pretty high too. So I was like, instead of being upset, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pretend that I'm getting better food than I actually am. I'm gonna pretend that I'm like making healthier choices for my body. Like I'm gonna cosplay me as me just making, more responsible choices. It's great. It's the easiest cosplaying you'll ever have to do. I don't even have to change clothes. And that solved it for me. I wasn't upset. But the dude, the dude working at Taco Bell, he was more upset than I ever was about it. He was like, dude, you know, you're being cool. I want to do something for you. I want to give you two tacos for free. And I was like, okay, that's generous. But I did just order and pay for two tacos. And like, that was just an impulse buy. Like I've never eaten a burrito and been like, shit, I need two tacos on top of this burrito right now. Like, could I get my money back for the first two tacos? And he's like, well, I can't do that for you. Uh, Cause we have to get the manager involved and she won't go for it, but I could give you four tacos for free. <laughs> like, okay, but then I have six tacos. <laughs> like, well, I can give you six tacos for free. I'm like, all right, stop right there. Because the problem, the problem is never going to be the number of free tacos. I'm grateful for every one of them. They're great. The problem is always the number of me's. There's always going to be just one me, and I have to eat all the tacos, all right? There's nobody else. I don't have any mouths to feed. Like, what kind of father would I be if I show up at 3 o'clock in the morning? I'm like, wake up, kids. Fourth meal. Come and get it. <laughs> Like, that's not happening. They don't keep. Like, I can't have leftovers. I can't crunch them up and make them into a Taco Bell casserole tomorrow, all right? That's not a thing. Don't try it at home, no matter what Pinterest tells you. I'm eating all of these tacos, right? Right after you give them to me. So let's just stem the damage. Just the original order. Just burrito, two tacos. It's more than enough food. I'll be okay. And he looks at me directly in the eyes. He's like, okay, I can get what you're saying but 10 tacos is the most tacos I can give you for free. <laughs> I was at a loss. Like, I, I don't know how to tell people to stop giving me things for free. Like, it's not a problem I encounter a lot in capitalism. I'm just like, okay, dude, just, just stop. Just, just end it. Just, just that. Just a burrito, two tacos. That's it. Everything will be fine. Uh, it wasn't fine, though. Um, I was in the drive-thru. Did I mention that? <laughs> You probably said that up top. I was in the drive-thru. Uh, my order is so messed up, they actually ask that I, I leave the drive-thru and park. So I'm just in the, the park-thru now. And um, it's, I just should have left. It was too much because I'm just there. It's late. I'm stoned. And I watch other people. They drive up. They order. They pay for their food. And they get to leave. I guess they didn't order tacos. I don't know what was different for them. But they get to leave. And I'm still there. And it's too late. And it's too dark. And I'm too stoned. And like I'm going through this cycle of regret where I'm not just regretting my order. I'm not just regretting Taco Bell. Like It's a cycle where I'm like, going through every regret I've made in my life until I hit high school, because that's just too many regrets to work out without a therapist, you know? So it's there, it's late, I'm stoned in my car, and I'm just thinking sophomore year, you know? Winter formal. Like, Rachel wanted to dance with me, I wanted to dance with her, then I got in my head about it, and I never asked her, and then we were always weird. And I'm just late, stoned, sitting in my car, trying to figure out if Rachel's on Facebook or not. <laughs> and there's a knock on my window. I'm like, holy shit, it's Rachel. <laughs> it was never Rachel. It was always the guy working at Taco Bell. 
And he's just standing there, smiling ear to ear. And I roll down the window, and he lifts up the largest bag of tacos <laughs> I've ever seen. I grabbed it. It was a burrito and 12 tacos. <laughs> I didn't count it in front of him. I'm not rude. I just threw it in the back seat. Like, it was just like if a stranger just giving me a kilo of Coke. Like, I just threw it in the back seat, peeled out. I'm like, I have to get out of here before somebody shows up. Like, I lost the metaphor in my head. I started worrying, like, what if a police officer pulls me over? They're going to know this is too many tacos for personal consumption. They're going to think that I had intent to distribute these tacos. So I did the only thing I could do. I destroyed the evidence. I ate a burrito and 12 tacos <laughs> on the ride home. Have you ever reached into a paper bag looking for a taco and there are no more tacos in it? And that bag once had 12 tacos in it? It was a low moment. Um, I recovered, went home. I got on Facebook. I hit up Rachel. And you know, in the morning she hit me back up. Do you know what she said? She said, yeah, 12 tacos is a lot of tacos to eat, Kevin. <laughs> hey, thank you guys. That's been my time. I've been Kevin O'Shea.